Hello there, chemistry fans, and welcome back to another learning series with Mr. Knight. Today, we're going to look at the off bar principle, UNS rule, the Pauli exclusion principle. And in today's lesson, we're going to demonstrate and explain these concepts. So let us start with the off bar principle first. Off bar principle states that electrons fill the lower energy orbitals first. Now, for you to understand this, what I want you to think about is the number of shells or energy levels. And so we assign the end values to energy level. Now, in reality, N will stop at 7, which means that the maximum shell you have in reality is the seventh shell. However, in theory, we can go beyond that and assign any values. So in this case, where you see I have the lighter color, which is the one in brown, then these will be the theoretical numbers. And so the next thing to think about is the number of subshells or subshell you can have for each energy level. And so remember, we can have the S, P, D, and F. In theory, we can go up, we can start with G after F, H, I, and so on. Now, in terms of filling these shell or energy level and subshells with orbitals, now you need to remember that the first shell, which is n equal to 1, can have only one orbital. And so there is only the 1s orbital. There's no P, D, or F. Now, going to the second shell, or the second energy level, we will have two sub-shells. And so, therefore, the two orbitals that will be there is the 2s and 2p. So, there is no d or f. Now, going to the third shell, there can be three sub-shells. And so, therefore, we have the orbitals 3s. 3p and the 3d and there is no f going to the fourth shell there will be four subshells and so therefore we can have the orbitals 4s 4p 4d and 4f and so you can recognize the pattern so far again we will stop at the f subshell in this lesson but in theory, you can go beyond that. And so for the fifth shell, we'll have 5s, 5p, 5d, and 5f. For the sixth shell, we'll have our 6s, 6p, 6d, and we possible, in theory, will have a 6f. Now for our seventh shell, we'll have our 7s. And our 7P and our 7P will be our last um, reality um, orbital. Beyond that, they are just theoretical values. And so remember now these lighter brown colors, they are the theoretical numbers I'm using. I'm only filling out the entire thing just for demonstration purpose. But the brighter colors, they are the ones that actually exist in reality. And so now to, to fill the energy orbitals what you need to think about is the diagonal so we're going to fill this by using diagonal arrows and so we go straight across like that now what is important now how to organize this we start from our um, head to tail and so let's start filling from our 1s so 1s then goes to 2s now 2s will go to 2p then into 3s and then 3s into 3p and so again remember it is from the arrow head to the tail and after 4s you'll go to 3d and go down to 4p 5s then other 5s you'll go all the way up to 4d then you have our 5p and then 6s from our 6s we'll go up to 4f then our 5d 6p and our 7s from our 7s, we go up to our 5f, then our 6d, and our 7p. And that's the last 
um, realistic um, value in terms of orbitals. Others, you'll use them in theoretical concepts. And so you could go up from the 8S to our 6F, 7D, and 8P. And then continuing to our 7F, 8D, and so on. All right, and so what we're going to do now is to jump into another concept where this is applied. And so you can also look at this in this way. So the energy level, the energy values um, in terms of the filling. And so if you look at our chart on the left, you realize the first one to fill is the 1S. Then it will be the 2S. Then it will be the 2P. Then it will go to 3S and then go to 3P and then 4S and then it goes to 3D orbitals. And so that's how it worked um, in terms of filling these electrons on the orbitals. And that's off-board principle. Now, what we're going to jump into is our next concept and it is UNS rule. Now, UNS rule is interesting. What UNS rule states is that each orbital in a given subshell must be given a single electron before pairing up. And so as a result, unpaired electrons have the same spin. And so to demonstrate this, what UNS rule indicates is that, for example, you have the 1S orbital, the 2S orbital, and the 2P orbital. Now, what I want you to remember is that a single orbital can only contain two maximum electrons. So each of these box can only have two electrons in them. And so for the 1s, you go up first, and then you can pair by going down. All right. And so for the 2s, you go one up, and then you start to pair. Now, this is where UNS rule really become effective and fully understood, is that we start going across, because remember, the 2p that can contain a maximum of six electrons, and each of these orbitals can only take on two. So what UNS rule is saying that you must go one in each of them first. And notice the order. And so UNS rule is saying that all of these unpaired electrons must have the same spin because each of these electrons they are going upwards which means they are going in the in the positive half position then we can start pairing up we can start to pair up by going down 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 and so that's uns rule in simple demonstration so first you put them on pair electrons in the same spin and then you start to pair up now, our final concept now is a Pauli exclusion principle. And Pauli exclusion principle states that electrons occupying the same orbital must have opposite spins. Now, as a result, no two electrons within a given atom can have the same set of four quantum numbers. So, in other words, each electron in a given atom is exclusive and so you can remember the word Paul exclusion principle no electrons will have the same set of four quantum numbers now let's demonstrate this all right now let us explain now the Paul exclusion principle in demonstration and so let's look at the 2p6 as our example now, if it's P, then there are three possible orbitals, the X, Y, and Z. And so, since the electrons, they are paired, which means they're going in different directions, therefore mean the four quantum numbers for each of these electrons will be different from the others. And so, to truly understand this, what you need to think about now is the different um, quantum numbers. So we know where n is going to be 2 because this is on the second shell. And of course, when it's the p orbital, then our l value will be 1. And so let's consider our 
ml values and since p is 1 then our ml values will be minus 1 0 and positive 1 now let's look at the four quantum numbers all together now and describe each of these so first i want you to remember that since we are on the 2p that means our energy level has to be 2 so all of these electrons they will have n equal to 2. Also, they are on the p orbital, which means that the L value will also be the same. And so all of these electrons will have L values of 1. Now, this is where things start to become interesting in that the variation actually starts is where we have our ML value. So these two first electrons, they are on the minus 1. These two will be on the zero, and these two will be on the positive one. And so, let's look at the, the electrons individually. So this first electron going up will be two for n, one for l, ml minus one, and since going upwards, will be positive a half. Our next electron here, again, the n and the l values will be the same, so it'll be two on one, but it it also be the minus one is the first orbital. And so it is going downwards, so therefore it will be our negative a half. But this one, again, L and N, they are the same values as the others. And um, the ML value here will be a little bit of variation from the first, so it is zero, but it's going upwards, it's so going to be in the positive a half. For, for next electron, N and L, same values as the rest. Now, zero, because it is the same as this one, the same orbital as this one. So, they have the same values in terms of ML. But it's going downwards. It's going to be negative a half. If you go to our next electron, again, N and L, same values as the rest. It's on this last orbital. So, it would be on the positive one. And again, going upwards. So, it will be positive a half. And for the next electron, the variation here will be negative a half. So if you look at this chart carefully, you'd realize that none of these electrons, they have the same four numbers as the other. Even though they may be on the same ML value, the MS value will be different. Okay, the same ML value, the MS value different. The same ML value, the MS value, it is different. And so this is where we're going to stop for today. Um, in terms of these principles and so I'm looking forward to see you again when we do electron configuration so stay tuned and be safe until we come back together catch up with you later